Hi. Uh, in this video, I want to talk about uh, pornography in relationships, uh, in marriages, and it's uh, it's a challenge. It's it's a topic, of course, which um, we don't want to discuss. It's very taboo. Pornography in general, um, and at least addiction to pornography, is definitely uh, a taboo topic. But having pornography within a relationship um, for addicts is a taboo topic because we use pornography as the crutch, don't we? Uh, when we don't get our way, relationships are messy, they take time, uh, it's hard work. And if there's an argument or the person doesn't feel particularly loved or um, that they're being attended to, um, it's easy to, to, to fall in where the fantasy is, to feel, because uh, that's where the attention would be. Of course, this, this is all self-centered as well as self-sabotaging uh, a real life, right, loving and physical partner or spouse, you know, in the, in the relationship. But, you know, our brains, well, as addicts, we're, we're not looking at it that way now. We're not thinking about it in that context. You had an argument with your wife, um, it's in the evening, she's sleeping in the other room, you want to feel good, so there's an easy escape. I did this quite often, and it was a habit that became the addiction, which it became the poison, which was one of several reasons, but one of the reasons that my marriage um, failed and ended in divorce. And perhaps there are many of you out there that are watching this that can relate. Um, or perhaps there are those out there that this is an issue within your, your current relationship, your current marriage. Um, I've been there. I definitely understand uh, the struggle that you have. But pornography is not the solution to feeling good after an argument. Pornography is not the solution to making you feel your self-esteem to be raised. Pornography is the poison which will destroy. It has, it does, uh, a real-life relationship. Relationships, they're messy. They take time. They require, of course, two people to be committed and loving. Pornography does none of those things. So, um, what do I want to say really ultimately in this, in this video? Pornography is not good for relationships. It destroys relationships. That's cliche. You've heard this before. Um, maybe you've experienced it yourself. And if that is the case, then you know what I'm talking about. But I, we, we need to be honest. We need to talk about it, and we need to start maybe changing the behavior. So even if you agree to all of those things, and yet you still find yourself at the end of the day after an argument well, wanting to go into that fantasy land, um, I, I urge you to not to. I urge you to, to take a pause, to be honest, talk with your spouse, um, talk with your significant other or your partner, and don't go to bed um, angry. End the, end the day on a happy note and begin now, start, start today to reverse that trend of seeking comfort in the fantasy. Seek comfort in the real world, even though it might be hard for you. Blessings.